Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is PS Does Book Reviews number 17, something like that. I don't know the number anymore. Who cares about the number anyways? This is about the, the, the books that I've been uh, reading on the last month. Uh, also part of the September Thrills hashtag that my girlfriend is running to read thrillers during the month of September. So I read a few books, uh, some fit the September Thrills, other ones do not. Let's get right to it. First book that I read was this one, Suicide Girls in the Afterlife by Gina Renali. It was crappy. I don't know. It was... Well, the world is, has a quite a good, interesting imagination. Uh, the writing style is okay. But... I don't know. I, did, I didn't really like it. I felt the characters were a bit too forced. They tried to have too many characters. Uh, the adventure that they were in didn't really make much sense. Um, I particularly didn't like... Well, the devil was okay, but then they have actual uh, god in there. And the god character just really was um, already out of uh, reach. So, um, too far-fetched. It's uh, interesting and I like the, the ending. I like how it uh, connects to the beginning, but it didn't convince me. I only gave it two stars. Sorry, Gina Ranali, but this story didn't really do it for me. Next up, I picked up uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure uh, from uh, Hirohiko Araki. And I believe this is uh, quite a classic amongst the manga. Um, it has a very traditional um, fighting manga kind of uh, drawing style where the men are all like big closets with very strong muscles and stuff like that. Um, I didn't like it. The story was bland, cliche, silly, stupid, juvenile. I didn't really like it at all. Um, we focus mostly on two characters, which is the hero and the anti-hero sort of thing, and it doesn't really work very well. Everything feels very forced. Um, I don't know. Maybe at the time that it was released it was interesting, but I really didn't see the point on this one. I only gave it two stars. I don't think I will be reading the rest, even though it's um, manga, so it's easy to read sometimes, even if I don't really like it. I keep reading it just to know a little bit more of the story, and maybe it will grow on me, but this one really didn't didn't convince me. The only thing I really liked about it was the um, mask. The mask concept was uh, good, but the whole storyline um, afterwards didn't really convince me. Sorry about that. So two stars for this one. Um, then I read. This one, The Red Breast by John Esbo. It's the third book of the Harry Hole series. I had already uh, read number four and number five. So this was interesting to see some scenes where they... that are mentioned on the books following. Um, I'm reading it on completely the wrong order, I know. But, well, I started with Nemesis and then I started going back. So. Well, I don't know. After this one, I think I'm going to read uh, number one, uh, which is The Bat, I believe. We already have it here, so I'm probably going to pick that one up. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm fucking up the order of the books, because I can. Anyways, about this book, this is a really good book. I really enjoyed it. Um, it has the same elements or similar elements that were in the other two books, which was good, because I liked the other two books. If you hear noises, that's perfectly normal. It's my rabbit that's running around. Don't don't worry. Don't mind him. Um, the book uh, has a very good insight into Norway, political things around Norway. Um, the detective work is very interesting. The way the story is told is very interesting. It also connects a lot with the uh, neo-Nazi uh, movement that is occurring in Norway and the idiocy behind it and uh, characters related to it. Um, we talked about uh, gun smuggling as well. And it talks a very interesting um, storyline, a parallel storyline happening on the uh, Second World War and how Norway 
was divided between helping uh, the Nazis or helping um, the Allies, I think it was called, the Allied Force. And how some Norwegians went to one side, other Norwegians went to the other side. And uh, they weren't really recognized, they, was, they were condemned as traitors, the ones that joined uh, Germany. Uh, on the fight, uh, I think that on the book it says that they got like three years jail time uh, for uh, being traitors to their homeland. Um, very interesting book. I don't want to spoil uh, the storyline on it, so I'm going to say you have to read it. Very interesting. Really love it. Uh, really love everything by Joe Nesbo that I read so far. It's not disappointing at all. This book, I gave it a five stars out of five, and I will keep reading every whole storyline. I'm very interested. Also, I hear there's a movie coming out about, like, the book number eight or something like that. I want to read all the, mo all the books first and only see the movie later, but, yeah. I think I'm the next one, I'm going to go to The Bat. Then I don't know if I'm going to read number two or not. Uh, it has worse reviews than all the other ones. That's why I, I'm in doubt. Um, and yeah, so, and then try to go on uh, through the series, uh, picking up 6 and 7 and 8 and all that jazz. So yeah, recommend it, John Esbo, The Red Breast, excellent book. Last but not least, I read this, which is The Monstrous number 2. I can't say good enough things about Monstrous. It's great. Um, I thought I had discovered, um, I'm, I'm really loving that I'm discovering all these new graphic novels stuff. Um, I thought it was a pretty stagnant medium, but it, it really shows that if you dig um, remotely or dig at all a little bit, you will find a lot of great uh, hidden masterpieces. Uh, Saga was one of the biggest revelations that I that I discovered. Uh, it was getting great reviews, and it was awesome. And I thought, yeah, I can possibly get any better than this, but monstrous, monstrous. I will say that it's uh, even better than Saga. Um, of course, they're not really comparable. It's a matter of subjective taste, um, but. Well, what can I say about Monstrous? This is volume number two. Volume number one was already very interesting. Um, what Monstrous has is its own universe, fantasy universe. Um, amazing artwork, very good. Um, I like the storyline, how they have like a party of, uh, of different creatures that go around uh, the main character. Um, I don't know what to say without spoiling it. Um, she has a curse on her, which is a monster inside of her. And she's trying to understand how she got the monster, how she became the monstrous, let's put it that way. And she gets a little help and there are some uh, uh, betrayals and uh, action scenes, but the whole environment, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I will show you some drawings. The drawings are also phenomenal. Like each page is is a little masterpiece on its own. So, and they take some snippets to tell you a little of the backstory uh, behind the world itself. And I love it. I can't say anything enough. Uh, Marjorie Liu, Sana Takeda, you girls rule. Keep doing it. Looking forward very much to Monstrous number three. It's not out yet, I think it's still being done, they're probably still releasing comics, I believe this is comic serial in the US, and then they compile it into a book, that's what I believe they do, I don't know, I have no clue. 5 stars out of 5, very much looking forward to number 3. So yeah, that was what I read. Um, since it's still September, I asked my girlfriend for a thriller recommendation, something that I wouldn't read, otherwise I would pick up another Joan Esbo, and she recommended that I would read this, which is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. I'm only like one third in. It's been good so far. I I like it. I, I can recommend it. Uh, it's about plotting to a murder, apparently. Uh, the rabbit is still running around. No worries. The rabbit is fine. Um... So yeah, uh, 
Do you guys know any of these books? Do you recommend? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, tell me what, what you think about the books and what I said about them. Please leave your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like this video, you can check out the rewards that I have on Patreon to uh, support me as a content creator and stuff like that. So bye-bye. Take care. See you next time.